What's up, Tarnished? Mark here, and we are working on Margaret the Fell Omen. And this fight is pretty fun. It's really complicated. There's a lot going on. Let me pull up the map, make sure we're all on the same page. We're at Castle Ward Tunnel. There is Stormhill Shack. That is where you go to get the jellyfish summon. There's a woman there. Go exhaust all the dialogue with her, and she'll give it to you. It's important we summon Roger. Uh, he's going to help us out. Uh, in this strategy, we're going to lean on him quite a bit in the beginning of the fight. He is definitely an asset. Uh, let me pull up my quick links here so you can kind of see what I have. So I have Margaret's shackles, bone darts, and there's the jellyfish. Um, let's go over a couple things real quick. In this video, I'm a level 26 Vanguard using a long sword plus four. I've removed the halberd, so I have a faster roll. It's a medium load. We will use the jellyfish, and you can get that, like I said, from Rodrika. If you don't know how to summon, go see Rena at the Church of Ella. She'll hook you up. We talked about summoning Roger already. So for Margaret's Shackles, this is interesting. Uh, so if you go fight Patches in Murkwater Cave and you spare him, he will turn into a vendor and you could buy Margaret's Shackles. Yep. So I have a guide for that. I'll put a link in the description in the comments so you can go take care of that. Um, but we need to have patience in this fight. We're going to stay back a little bit. The NPCs are going to do some attacking and, and create a distraction. We're going to get in like one to two hits, and then we're going to back off. We're going to do a lot of heavy hits. Uh, I left all my mistakes in so you could see what not to do. But one of the biggest words of advice I can give is to just stay calm. And I know this sounds weird, but I mean literally relax your shoulders and your hands. And it will definitely help you out in the fight. All right, so go ahead and grab your runes. When the fight starts, we're going to stay calm, patient. And we're going to hang back. And kind of what we want is we want Roger to sort of take control. So you might have to move around the battlefield, wait for him to do something. He could probably throw a bone dart. That might get things going a little quicker. I decided to just kind of run up here so that it's easier for me to attack Margaret's back. Because he's going to rush in and start attacking Roger. And we want to go in. As soon as Roger gets aggro, we're going to run in and stun. We're going to use those shackles. And we're going to stun him for like five seconds, five to six seconds. Heavy attack, jump, R2, and we're gonna try and break his posture as best we can. So keep with the heavy hits. And so as soon as the shackles wear off, we're gonna immediately use the shackles again. We wanna make sure we break his posture. If Roger is down, by the way, on the ground, don't use it. Make sure he's standing up because we want him to be able to attack as much as possible. Now, when we break his posture, we wanna circle to the front and hit R2. Don't hit R R1, don't hit R2, use R1. I hit R2 and I blew it. <laughs> don't do what I did. Right there, I finally, I did it correctly. Then we're gonna back out again. So the shackles have been all used up. You can only use it twice in phase one, that's it. But that's fine. We're gonna dodge, and we're gonna keep backing up until Roger gets aggro again. As soon as he gets it, as soon as that attention is on Roger, we're gonna rush in and we're gonna try and get more heavy attacks because we're trying to constantly break his posture. So a jump heavy attack helps. So go ahead and do that and you will get you will get uh, attention from him immediately. So try to get one or two hits in, hits in, but time your roll so it's during an attack and you don't get hit like that. And this requires patience. You know, you have to learn the move set and he takes big, big swings that are really hard to anticipate sometimes. And then he has fast swings like that. Now, when the golden hammer comes out, we've entered phase two. So now it's time to summon the jellyfish. And the jellyfish is great because it inflicts poison damage. And guess who is, uh, who has a weakness to poison? That's right, Margaret. So now we have both our NPCs just wailing on him. And so when we have the attention, we're backing up. And as soon as somebody else gets aggro, we're gonna run in and we're gonna swing in with our heavy attacks. Now, because we're using heavy attacks, we're gonna get a little more attention, but that's okay. Again, we wait, then we come in with the heavy and you can see he broke his posture, but this is like the worst possible place to break posture ever. I couldn't get to his front, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, we still did a decent amount of damage to him. So we back up. Roger, unfortunately, is gone, but not forever. Unlike Dark Souls, you will be able to resummon him, even if he dies and you die. Uh, and I think he appears later on in the game, too. I don't think it actually affects his longevity in the game. So we are, we are staying back, and the nice thing about this now is you can see that the jellyfish is shooting poison attacks at him. And so as long as the jellyfish is shooting him, 
oh, there it is. So when there's a green mist around him, he's been poisoned. And so his health is slowly going to tick down. This is this is a really good scenario. This is what we want. So avoid those big attacks. Jellyfish is pretty tough for a jellyfish. I'll tell you. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with a jellyfish right now. Um, but we take in those heavy attacks back up. And now that we have aggro, we're backing up again. Keep an eye on your health. By the way, earlier when I was fighting Margit, I died and he had been poisoned and he died two seconds after I died and it didn't count. I was pretty bummed. But anyway, that's okay. We got him this time. So again, let Margit attack the jellyfish. Come in with your heavy attacks and dodge the, his heavy attacks. And then when he turns his back to you, go in. And look at that. We broke his posture. Come in, front stab, all done. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.